And welcome back. The temperatures are back on their way down as uh, we are currently at 18 degrees at North Platte, that wind northwest around 5, making it feel like 11. We do have clear skies across the region, though. We're at 22 at Scotts Bluff. It does feel like 13. Westerly wind out in the panhandle around 7 miles per hour, too. That westerly wind does keep us on the mild and dry side, at least when the sun is up. And that dry air does warm up and cool down pretty quickly. So we're in the teens now. We had high temperatures across central Nebraska into the upper 40s and Cooler conditions for highs today, low to mid 30s as you make your way across the panhandle. Here's a look at the current temperatures uh, 18 right now at North Platte, 22 at Broken Bow, McCook, 19 at Ogallala, and 15 out toward Alliance. Uh, Sydney is the cool spot at 13 degrees. There's your wind, mainly from a westerly direction. Wind speed's really not that bad, but still making it feel even cooler. Uh, winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour, uh, really drying us out. No clouds. Clouds on the map anywhere we look. So we had lots of sunshine today, and mainly clear skies uh, are going to be the story through the overnight. You can see the extent of uh, the clear skies across most of the country with our dual high pressure system. So the snow uh, still a little lake effect as you make your way into the northeast, but the main weather maker has exited the uh, east coast. We still have this low in the south that's giving some portions of the deep south a, a good amount of rain and another system off the west coast that really can't get over the higher elevations of the Rockies. So as we make our way through the next few days, these highs are going to be in charge, giving us a southerly and a westerly wind. All that cool air is off the east coast. This um, uh, this area of orange where you see temperatures above average, uh, it, it basically encompasses the entire country over the next few days. So temperatures will rise from the upper 50s to some areas in our, our forecast area into the lower 70s with a good amount of sunshine. We're still going to have cool overnight periods with that light westerly wind and clear skies. So low temperatures just after daybreak are going to be into the low to mid teens, but high temperatures for your Sunday are going to be into the mid to upper 50s. Uh, clear skies, lots of sunshine and a westerly wind. More clouds come in overnight Sunday into Monday, so we have a milder start. Lows for most of us into the mid to upper 20s, and that gives us a high starting off point. Some of us could reach the lower 60s into central Nebraska for Monday. Lots of sunshine. That westerly wind picks up uh, into the mid to upper 50s for Monday out towards Scotts Bluff. Now, these highs will be our main weather maker uh, all the way until around Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So, sunny skies at nice southwesterly wind warming us up. Uh, by then, we're going to see uh, some moisture from this system here, this low to our north, and the cold front that will cool us off. But well, the ridge in the jet stream does stretch up into Canada, so we have that nice warming trend across the western half of the country. The rain stays in the deep south and the snow and cold into the northeast. And that is going to be the, be the weather pattern all the way until around Wednesday of next week. So let's take a look at the extended forecast. Uh, near 60 tomorrow, North Platte, lots of sunshine. 63 on Monday, near 70 Tuesday and Wednesday, still mainly sunny. 62 on Thursday, partly cloudy. And then we do have a slight chance of some showers Friday night, a high of 56. And then maybe a rain-snow mix on Saturday with a high of only 38 with those breezy northerly winds keeping temperatures down. Out towards Scotts Bluff, 55 for Sunday. Lots of sunshine through Monday, 59 in mid-60s by Tuesday, up to 70 on Wednesday, partly cloudy. Then we start to cloud up on Thursday, still dry, a high of 66. Some showers on Friday, a high of 56 and down to 35 in Scotts Bluff for next Saturday. Maybe a few rain or snow showers. Marissa? It's crazy. Scotts Bluff getting, the, getting that rain, and we have not seen a drop of it. <laughs> yeah, we've been very dry through the month of February. It looks like that trend will continue through at least the spring. Thanks, Justin. There's an old saying that you reap what you sow. Well, a Rhode Island woman is taking the sowing part seriously.